Okay, this is a very little back and uh, musical back, so to say, because the contents of that one is a complete whistle, an Irish whistle, made in the USA, by the way, by Kerry Parks. And uh, Kerry is a guy we get to know each other over the internet, and uh, he's a great whistle maker in my eyes. And um, well, he supplies us these wonderful whistles, and uh, we retail and distribute them also. So if you get a shop and want to sell those. Uh, just contact us for Europe. And uh, about these Parks whistles, uh, they are very special. You see, Kerry himself, he likes to go canoeing just as I do. And he said he wanted, always wanted to have a whistle that can take a lot of abuse. And this is how he came to creating this one. Um, as you can see, you can um, take these three parts apart and uh, put them in your pocket so it's very small and uh, very good for transporting it and um, the other thing is it sounds great and that's the most important thing for a musical instrument by the way if you want to compare it to any other whistle um, it's just as loud as the Zuzato whistles but um, the higher octave is more sweet or more mellow and um, I'm going to give you an idea about that lower octave to higher octave Um, now there's one more funny thing about it, it's the so-called Parks Tone Ring. Up here there's a little plastic ring and um, if you turn this one it has got two effects. The first effect is that um, the change between the octaves um, gets different. Now it's complicated for me to say in English because uh, I'm missing some vocabulary but I'll try to explain anyway. Um, if you're used to blowing whistles uh, that don't need much pressure, uh, you can get along with this whistle wonderful. But if you're used to needing more pressure for switching to the higher octave, you can simply turn this ring a little bit aside and uh, it gets harder to get to the second octave. So um, you can adjust the, the pressure of that whistle just to your way of playing. That's the one effect. So if you... This is easy, easy playing, so to say. And uh, there's little needs a little more pressure now. Second effect of that is that if you turn this ring, I don't know if you can see it. I hope so. Um, it gets uh, less volume. So if you want to practice at three o'clock in the morning without waking up your wife or neighbor, or if you're used to where you have to travel and stay in hotels a lot and want to practice after a long day of work. You can just use this tone ring uh, to uh, lower the volume. I'm going to show that. Even more. Also, it lowers the note a bit and gets a little more breathy. But Anyway, ah, my, that's great, and well, that's what it sounds.